Hello and welcome Virgos to Salt Intuition Tarot. Remember this is a general reading and it may resonate for something that's going to happen to you in the future or something that's already passed and you just need um, confirmation on. So remember to like, share, comment as well as subscribe and appreciate y'all being here. What do we got for Virgo for the week ahead? We have Warrior. Strength, skill, discipline, and toughness of will. Heroism, stoicism, and self-sacrifice in conquering the ego. So for some of y'all, you're trying to get victory over your ego and trying to conquer a lot of things. You're a warrior. You're seen as a warrior. See what that has to do with your week ahead. So what's coming up for Virgo for the week ahead? So their highest good, angels, spirit guides, and ascended masters. Let us know what Virgo needs to hear. So it looks like the full card is here. So you feel like you're free. You feel like, you know, the innocence is back. Um, maybe you're going to get a new new beginning. You feel like you got a new leash on life or a new beginning. What is this full card here for? Because you did the walk away to find your happiness. So, you you know, you abandoned whatever situation that didn't make you happy. You went into intros introspection. Um, for some of y'all, you did withdraw for a period of time because you were disappointed. Uh, you were just looking for the truth. And it looks like you are going to be able to take a leap of faith and make a new start. The person that we're talking about is on your mind. Who's the person on your mind? So justice. They will give you justice. They will give you the truth. And uh, and all the honesty you could want. Of course, you know, when you walk away, it's over. They want to give you the truth then. You will get karma justice. How does this person feel about you? They feel like you're moving on and moving on without them and just accepting things for who they, what they are and that you're healing. Are there going to be any actions from that person coming toward Virgo? So it looks like you do have the King of Cups. This is someone um, that is in touch with their emotions. So they may like you, but they're not going to, they're not, they don't easily show their emotions. So they may not show you how they feel about you. Clarify the King of Cups for Virgo. You do have the lovers in reverse because they feel like there's some trust issues here. Maybe from what's went on in the past. So there are trust issues and maybe they fear that you will not accept them back since you did walk away. So how do you feel about this person? Yeah, there is a Scorpio card, death and rebirth. I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio, but this is talking about letting go and new beginnings. They feel like you let them go and uh, wanted a new beginning for yourself, and they don't know if you would accept them back. All right. So how do you feel about this person? You feel like it, it was a loss. You were, um, This person didn't have good intentions for you. That's what I'm saying. You just did not feel like they were above board with you. And you do have the Two of Cups, which is talking about disharmony. It's in reverse, talking about there was a disconnect, uh, inequality, imbalance. Maybe you're not compatible with this person. This is unhappy couples. So what is their most likely actions toward you, Virgo? Most likely actions would. They would be coming in if you wanted some kind of sexual adventure. They would surely come in for that. Will you be able to turn that down? Will you be able to turn down any sexual advances this person has for you? So it looks like it will be challenging. Uh, an unconventional lifestyle. Reverse roles. Nonconformity. So this person is wanting you to do things that you're not accustomed to doing. Like having... You know, sex without any type of commitment. So it doesn't look like that you... It's a maybe card. But it's in reverse. You might do it. It looks like uh, there's going to be... Maybe y'all are going to compromise. Some kind of compromise. Let's see what that compromise is. What are you going to be compromising? Your, unless you're compromising your traditional values... 
for a person that's coming in for physical pleasure. My compromise it. Let's see. Will you compromise? Will you compromise, Virgo? Will you compromise? This is a uh, self-indulgence. Some of y'all might just do it. I'm just saying. That's for some of y'all. You just might take them up on their offer. So what's the most likely outcome for you and the person that we're speaking of? We do have... Um, Maybe you have a conversation with this person and they seem unemotional and detached. Most likely outcome when you see each other, you're going to be both just acting unemotional and detached toward one another. That's the most likely outcome. So what is some advice for Virgo? What is some advice for Virgo? We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Um, stop sacrificing yourself unnecessarily for other people just don't do it like if you're planning on sacrificing you know you want commitment they just want something physical and you sacrifice for that then you're lowering your standards so just know um if you think you deserve more than that then you will take no less than that is what i'm trying to say for you virgo all right, y'all, that was your reading for the next seven days. Y'all like, share, comment, as well as subscribe, and I appreciate y'all watching.